When you first arrived at Manchester United, did you ever envisage staying here as long as you have and seeing it grow as it's grown? I never en envisaged anything, really. I just, you know, I just came from school and wanted to play football and you know, wanted to try and get as as as, as high up you know, the teams as I could do. Obviously, starting with the, with the U team and and the, the A and B teams and then going to reserves and I just never envisaged play, you know, being a being here for the, for the next 17, 18 years as, as it has been. You had to think about that, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very few players in this modern era stay with one club throughout their career. What makes you want to stay with this club for as long? Because you could have made a lot of money moving from club to club. What made you want to stay with this club and only this club? It's the best club. Um, no, I'm, I'm from Manchester. Why would I? Why would I need to move? Um, as long as I've been been here and the managers want me to stay, here, then uh, that, that's enough for me. It's a it's a massive club to play for. It's you know, they've, they've had so much success over the years as well that you know it's just a it's a no brainer really. Have you ever been tempted? Just a bit? No. I, <laughs> what's the point? Uh, you know, I've got. You know, it's on my it's on my doorstep. I live half an hour away, half an hour away from training, half an hour away from Old Trafford. It's you know, such great players play here, and there's never really been a thought or a need to, to play anywhere else. Everybody wants a change, don't they, in their lives? Sometimes. Did, did, do they? Have you ever got? I don't know. Did, did you ever get bored by the routine of it? No. Never. Bored of winning winning trophies, winning games every week. Well, most weeks. <laughs> Who can get bored of that? Tell me about your relationship with the manager. I get on well with him, yeah. Um, I think, you know, to be here for, for, for so many years under him, then you know, it's obviously going to be a, the odd times where you fall out a little bit, I suppose. But, no, I, I get on very well with him. And you know, if, there's, if I need to speak to him, then he's always very approachable as well. Have you ever had a row with him? No, I don't think so. Maybe a couple of disagreements here and there, but I won't say a row, no. You see, I find that absolutely amazing. I do, I find that absolutely amazing. How did you manage to do that? I'm not that type of person. I'm very, very calm. I don't, you know, I don't need to, to be blazing into rows and have big disagreements. I just try and get on with playing football and that's that. Do you, do you, I mean, you've been here a long time. So obviously you have your opinions about how things are, and everybody who, who ha who's in a job for a long time has an opinion about how things are run. Do you voice your opinion, or do you just quietly get on with the way you are? Quietly get on with it. Um, I think we have, we, have we have strong people in the team who, who voice their opinion if they're not happy with something, and you know, I just tend to, go along, tend to go along with most things, I think. Are you, are you a leader, or...? Do you like to be told what to do? Um, neither, really. I, I, I don't know. You, maybe when you say a leader, I'd probably try and try and set an example in in training to, to younger players and and in games. Um, I don't mind being told what to do because you know, at the end of the day, you are at work and you, know, you have you have bosses and coaches and I sort of tell you what to do, and it's your job to do that. Did you hear what Paddy Creran said about you the other day? No. He said, you, of all the players that he's watched in his time of watching players at Man United, you were his favourite player. That's nice, yeah. Um, no, Paddy was a, was a great player as well. Um, I believe, so, so I've been told. <laughs> um, I'm not old enough to, to have seen him play, but yeah, it's, it's nice when, when, when people say that. It's, it's nice, yeah, I like it. Are you shy? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you don't take so you don't seem to take compliments very well. You don't. No, I don't like compliments. No, I'd rather people have a go at me than really? give me compliments. Yeah. Why? You, you Just like to try and prove them wrong. You like criticism. I prefer criticism. Yeah. How do you deal with it? By trying to prove them wrong. And have you had lots of criticism in the past? I can't believe you have. I've had lots. No, a little bits when you're out of farm now and again, but no, nothing much. I don't think. And then what you you deal with it quietly and go away and say right I'm going to really prove you wrong. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, take it on board what what people say. I suppose. Um, well, it depends who, who's saying it. I suppose, and you know, try and yeah, try and think about it and 
and just try and get better at what you do? The, you see, the only thing, and I, and I was, the only thing that I can think of that people have criticised you for is your tackling. That's the only thing I can think of. Does that rile you? No. No, don't bother me one little bit. So I, 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 obviously, I missed time a few tackles, but who doesn't? You're not worried about the number of yellow and red cards you had? No. No. No, it's all part of the game, isn't it? If, you know, sometimes you, you make tackles, you make late tackles, that's, that's just the way it goes. You get yellow cards, you get red cards. Just all part of the game. And what about the fact that you've been able to still command a first team place for so long? I know that there's been a lot of talk about the fact that you gave up playing for England and some people said you gave up that too early. Do you think that's been the reason that you've been able to command a first team place because of that? I'm not too sure. I just, no, it's difficult to say. Um, if I had to say something, I, I probably would say as as prolonged my career, um, whether it's you know made me play a lot more, I'm not too sure. I just you know, I, I don't think it matters how old you are, as long as you you're feeling okay and, you, and you're playing well. That, that, that's the most important thing. And you know, if you're doing that, the manager's going to pick you. When you watched the World Cup, I mean, I'm assuming you did watch the World Cup in the summer, was there any part of you that thought, ah, you know, I wish I'd, I wish I hadn't made that decision, I wish I'd been there? Because the manager wanted you to play, didn't he? I don't know. Um, well, he did. Which manager? That, the England Capello, manager? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, f I felt, I did feel as if I'd, I'd made the wrong decision, yeah. Um, but I'd, I'd only been given a, de a day to make the decision anyway, a couple of hours to make the decision one afternoon, and you know, it was all a bit of a rush job. But I think when you know when you see it coming on TV and it's lead leading up to the to the tournament, the World Cup, so it's, it's the biggest tournament you can be involved in. Then there was a, a touch of regret there. Yeah. What do you think now? <laughs> wish it had gone. You wish it had gone. Yeah, but don't matter now. It's gone. Because it's in vogue now, isn't it? This whole idea. You're in your 30s. He's talked about it with Beckham. He thinks, oh, 30, whatever. It's too old now. And you're in your mid 30s, and he wanted you to play. It's, it's not too old, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> it, it, you say it's, it's not too old. It just depends on the, play, the players playing. If they're playing well enough, it, it doesn't matter how old you are. Whether you're a 17-year-old kid or a 35-year-old man, it, it doesn't really matter. You um, you don't do many interviews, do you? You've never done many interviews in your career. I've done my fair share now, I think, yeah. <laughs> what, four? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, it's not something I've I've ever uh, ever enjoyed doing, really, over the years. Um, but I think now I'm getting older, I'm starting to do quite a few now. You're not that old. <laughs> Why have you never done them? I don't know. I just not something I enjoy. If uh, people we get requ requests into the press office, and I, I, I think I did my fair, my fair share now, don't I? He says, looking at the press office. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're but you're bright. You've got thoughts. I'm you, bright. <laughs> you've <laughs> you got no me. <laughs> you are. You've got. You seem very intelligent. You've got. You're very thoughtful. Very intelligent. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Take it as a compliment. So what are you going to do? How many more seasons have we got in Paul Scholes, you reckon? I've no idea. I don't know. I'll just take it, take it as it comes. Um, I feel OK now. Well, I feel OK at the end of the season. Who knows? We'll just, just take it from there. And what are you going to do when you finish? Are you one of those people that wants to stay in football and give a lot back? Or do you want to say, thanks very much, I enjoyed my time, I want to do something else now? No, I want to stay in football. Um, I don't know anything else other than football, really. Um, I've started doing my coaching badges now, and hopefully by the time I finished, I'll, I'll have some coaching badges, and hopefully um, I'll get an offered a job somewhere. Stay here. Yeah, that'd be nice.